Grand Prairie police are marking the one-year anniversary of a brother in blue who died in the line of duty. 38-year-old A.J. Castaneda was running radar on the George Bush Tollway June 7, 2019, when he was struck and killed by a car. Monday, Castaneda's family got their first look at a memorial road sign put up in his honor near the place where he died. I'm glad that we were able to honor my brother on this one year um, anniversary of his passing and uh, we appreciate Grand Prairie Police and them letting us do this. It's a, it's a very touching moment. Then a motorcade of fellow officers drove by to pay their respects. GPPD also remembered Castaneda with a prayer broadcast to officers on patrol. We get to stop and reflect upon the ways in which AJ's life impacted us, and we get to demonstrate the fact that his memory is going to live on forever. Castaneda is the third Grand Prairie police officer killed in the line of duty. I'm going to go ahead and give you a packet to take a to talk about the information. The city of Grand Prairie is offering free COVID-19 testing to residents and people who work in the city. A drive through site is now open at the Veterans Park Event Center on Tuesday and Thursday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. To get the free test, you must make an appointment by phone or text at 1-888-766-6653. You'll also need proof of Grand Prairie residency. Officials say the city is making the test available to people who have symptoms and those without symptoms. We didn't have any free sites in Grand Prairie. The federal sites are located in Dallas um, and Fort Worth. So we wanted to be able to offer something to our citizens that was here local and they had the ability to get to. The city is also offering free at-home testing by appointment on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. These tests are available for anyone 65 or older and household members, anyone with a chronic disease and household members, anyone disabled and household members, as well as anyone symptomatic without transportation. The drive through and at-home tests are scheduled to run through June, but officials say that could be extended if there is enough demand. If we see a lot of demand, um, then we do have the ability to extend um, for another 30 days, so we'll just have to see how testing goes. You can get more information about the free testing and other COVID-19 news by visiting the city's website at gptx.org. Some sights and sounds that haven't been seen or heard in more than two months have returned to Grand Prairie. For the first time since the COVID-19 pandemic shut things down in mid-March, the doors are open again for customers at the city's public libraries. We have a lot of people coming in happy, happy that we're open. We're happy to see them, trust me. And uh, it's, it's been a really great day across the system. All three of the city's library locations have reopened with adjusted hours for now and of course with all of the precautions and restrictions that are required to make sure things stay safe and healthy for everyone. We've had to curb some of our services so at all our locations our kids computers are still unavailable, our kids play areas are still closed and also to establish social distancing, we've cut down on the number of public PCs that are available, and we have no in-person programming at any of the buildings. Remember that children under the age of 13 cannot be in the building unattended at any time. We look forward to serving you, just understand that things will be different when you come in the building. The libraries join a number of city departments that are now open. For the latest information about the libraries, you can visit their website. And for more information about openings around the city, log on to gptx.org slash COVID-19. Our nation's hurting. In a time when we are unable to embrace one another because of a global pandemic, our nation, nation witnessed the tragic and reprehensible death of Mr. George Floyd. At the hands of a man wearing a uniform and a badge. A man who betrayed his oath 
and note that all police officers take to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. You should know that the Grand Prairie Police Department takes our oath seriously. We, like you, are hurting and we stand with anyone that speaks truth to evil. Although a person claiming to be a police officer in another part of this country tarnished his badge, know that the badge of the Grand Prairie police officer shines brightly and we will continue to shine light any place there is evil. Like you, we are fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, and sons and daughters. We even have an officer who was a classmate of Mr. Floyd himself. But we're all children of God. And together, united, we will get through this place. And the Grand Prairie police officers will continue to protect and serve in the spirit of the law because our department enforces the law with empathy and love. There is something else that troubles me, and that is there are those that are using the tragic death of Mr. Floyd to line their own pockets and loot and cause damage. That only distracts from the important voice that George Floyd has it's important that his voice continues to be heard through all of us. Thank you.